All right, Ryan with Crutchfield Automotive. We're going to be doing a series on this Subaru Outback. So if you found yourself in here and this is helpful to you, give us a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It would be helpful for us and uh, follow along. All right, moving on to the rear brakes on a Subaru Outback. This is a 17. Uh, you might not can do these without a scan tool to put it in brake maintenance mode because these have an electronic plug in that allows you to go into the scan tool and put it into a maintenance mode on the vehicle itself. So if you don't have that, uh, I think you can still spin these in with a, a brake tool, a spin in brake tool similar to this. Um, not 100% that you can do it without being able to put it in maintenance mode. So um, I know that I can. I don't know that you can do it without it because I'm not going to do it without doing that. Um, I've been told that you can do it and spin them in without putting in brake maintenance mode, but let's take a look at what you do first. And once it's in maintenance mode, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and unplug it. So this plug here has got a protective shield on it, and then uh, press in and it will remove, clean off any residue and dirt behind, and take a pry bar of some kind. I'm going to pop this little spring out. At that point, we're going to move over to getting the caliper off of the bracket. There's little dust caps here and here. You're going to take a hex 7. Looks like this guy. It's going to fit down in there, and then you're going to be able to loosen these out, pull out a pin, and then set your caliper to the side. Once they're loose, you can just kind of push them out. Pull them all the way out and set it to the side. Do that again. On the other. You don't have to remove them all the way. It's just my preference. And then you should be able to. It's hard to do with one hand, but you'll be able to wiggle that off of the caliper bracket, leaving the pads behind. And at that point, we can start to remove the caliper bracket using this 14 and this 14. These are going to be snug. Go ahead and have you a good sized ratchet wrench on hand. A uh, regular wrench is probably not going to get them loose. Uh, once you get that off, you'll be left with just your rotor. Hammer it off, or you can take that M by M8 by 1.25 and run it into these bolt holes and press it. Once you got the bracket off, your old rotor off, new rotor on, uh, these have, a, I believe it's a zinc coating that'll come off once it starts to uh, apply the brake pads. Uh, now I can come back on with my bracket. There's no special hardware. I'm just going to slip the bracket back around, put my 14s back in there. And then I can slide my pads on. At that point, I'm going to go ahead and start running this in uh, again with that spin-on tool while it's in brake maintenance mode just to make sure that uh, I don't have any problems. Uh, I can show you how to <laughs> kind of show you how to run these in. It can be tough on camera with one hand. Um, there's plenty of videos showing you how to use a spin in brake tool if you don't know how. But run this into a sufficient, and then we can go back on the caliper on top of those pads. So once that is spun in, you'll be able to just put your pads in there. You'll be able to set this over, plug it back in. Yeah, easier said than done with one hand again, and then put clean these pins up. And you're going to run them back through, snug them down, put your caps back on for the dust covers. Once your brakes are to this point, take that new spring, two holes on the outside of the caliper there, and you're going to push one side and kind of swing it over, clip the other side in, and you're done. Once they look like that, you finished your rear brakes, everything looks great. Put your wheel back on, torque it to spec finished on your rear brakes and got your stopping power back if you found that helpful as always like subscribe share comment all the fun things to help our channel grow we appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next one